rockinguitarlessons.com, youtube.com slash rockinguitarlessons1. That's my idol, Eddie Van Halen. Van Halen, you really got me. Uh, this is actually per request of VH Fan 3584. Uh, is that you, Tyler? You have the Van Halen tribute? I think it's you. But it's time for some more Van Halen, man. Two and a half step down for this. And um, I'm going to come up close so you can see what's up. Um, take your index, go to fret 2 on the D, kind of angle it. You don't really want to go on the tip. You want to be muting. Muting is just as important as what you're playing. And the middle finger is going to be covering this third fret E string. So you have, hit the E with your thir uh, third fret there. And then hit the, the A and D string twice. So, And then middle finger back to 3 E. And then right back to the A and D string. That's 2 on the D, open A. So we have... And then Eddie changes these next three, he goes... So we have... Let's see. I'm blowing it. There it is. So it's two, three, and four go. Down, up, fret, hand, mute, and then go. Uh, third fret, E. So... So those are done by down up mute, hitting the three on the E, two times on the fifth and fourth string, back to three E, and back to the fifth and fourth string. And then you repeat that whole thing two more times. So you have, here's all of it. So on this part, okay, I like to show the little things, you guys know that, even if it's a slide. We're going to go up, uh, I take middle finger to around 15, 16, or 17 on the low E. It doesn't matter as long as you get this long effect of the slide. And move it to around the fret 3, which is where you need to be anyways because we're starting this progression again. So, and go. And you'll go open A, second fret D twice. 3 E once. Back to open A, second fret D. And then we go. Fret hand mute three times. And then you're going to do that three more times, but it's a little different. Now he's starting with the third fret on the E. So it's, now it's going to go. So um, on that secondary bit or third fret E, just quarter step bend it like this. on that fourth one you're going the second time and you hit that third fret E go it's a whole step bend release middle finger vibrato another one of those slides now it's starting from three slide way up to 17 or 19 doesn't matter it's the effect of the slide and then slide it back sounds like guitar guitar hero huh <coughs> okay so now we have so here's the third little segment that's coming in he's going three times of this palm mute everything go three e and when you do that have this first finger on the second fret d right from the get-go okay so we're gonna go e strings five and four twice Back to third E, and then back to strings five and four. So we have, that's one time, you're gonna do it three times. Let's do it three times. And that is, such a cool Eddie riff. Uh, fourth fret G, get a pinch harmonic on there, bend it, release it. Whole step, been released. And then hit the fourth fret, pinch harmonic, and just quarter step bend it. He's real choppy in here. So your notes are 4 2 on the G, 4 3 2 on the D, and 4 3 2 on the A. But you want to do those bends on each start and pinch harmonic. And then ride back to this. 
thing you would do it before that. Okay, three more times, and then the fourth one he has a different little riff. So we have. The rest of those. And this is 7G, whole, pinch harmonic, bend, a whole step. And release it. And then five, five and seven on the G, and do those little quarter step bends with the pinch harmonic. And then same thing on the D string, five and seven. So. And then same thing on the A string, five and seven. And then third fret A. And hammer onto the fifth fret A. And then he goes. 7E, 9A, these are just power chords. So. Hit that twice. Go to five and seven once. Back to seven and nine once and rest. And then it's a repeat of those, but uh, start on the fifth and seventh fret. So it's five, seven, seven, nine twice, five, seven, seven, nine once. Okay, and that fourth one goes. Fourth one ring, and then go 5A, 7D, and then the same thing is repeating just on the A and the D string, 7A, 9D, two times, go to 5 and 7 on the A and D, and back to 7 and 9 A and D, but slide after you pick it. So it's, and then this next one, he's palm muting most of it, except for the last chord. So 5A, 7D, palm mute. 7 and 9, A and D, twice, palm mute. Back to 5 and 7, palm mute. Back to 7 and 9, no palm mute, and slide. And then repeat all that one. Okay? And then he'll throw in this, when they go, you, you really got me, it goes like. After you do the. That part. So you slide in the power chord, right to around three and five, then jump that middle finger up to three E. Half step bend, and second fret on the D string. So it's in there, listen, you'll hear it. And then repeat the chord part up here again. So instead of going, he does ninth fret G, Pinch harmonic, and he bends it a step and a half, so it's a three three fret bend, and then release, bending an E to a G basically. Okay, and then back to this. When that transitions, he'll go fret hand mute, down up down. If, if you listen close, you'll hear it in the studio version. And then 5A, 7D, and 7G. And then pick scrape. Let's take that pick in between the sixth and fifth string, angle it back a little, and slide it. Dig it into the string. Okay? So there's a big chunk of that for you. And just in case you guys don't know, Eddie Van Halen is the reason I started playing guitar. I remember hearing him, hearing Eruption was probably the, one of the first songs that ain't talking about love and maybe you really got me. I wasn't playing guitar yet. I think that album came out in 79 or 80 or 81, but either way I wasn't playing. But I remember being intrigued. They used to play Eruption on the radio. Imagine that nowadays. And I remember being intrigued by Eddie's tone didn't understand what it was, I just knew this sounds like out of this world, man. And that's coming from someone that wasn't even playing an instrument yet. And uh, so when I got into guitar, it was all about Eddie Van Halen. Um, he's a legend, he's an icon, he's Jimi Hendrix of the 80s is what I say. And he influenced a breed of players and he's still shredding it to this day. 
I love Eddie Van Halen's playing, his style, and everything. Um, so, have fun. If you have questions, let me know. Make sure you check out the Van Halen. I wish I wrote down the name. Tyler, you can put it on here because I know you're going to take this video and put it on the Van Halen page. And um, make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. It's everything. I think it's called Anything Van Halen something. But it's cool. He finds some really cool Van Halen stuff out there. So, And he's putting all my Van Halen lessons on that channel as well. Um, but I'm here for you if you guys need help. Make sure you uh, subscribe to this channel once you've done that. Send me your favorite songs. I'll get them for you the way these bands are doing them. Uh, all the little things count with me, man. I like to give it to you the way they're playing them. That's what I'm aiming to do. My website's rockingguitarlessons.com. Coming this month, man, December of 2012. It's $25 a month to become a premium member. That's nothing, man, for what you're going to get. It's going to be a very cool site for you guys. Move slow, close-ups. Um, I'm also doing lessons on Skype for guitar and bass. My wife's doing vocals. Uh, my Skype name's Rockin' Guitar Lessons. Add me if you want to do some Skype lessons. You can instant message me through the Skype field or whatever. I have a tutorial on this channel. Gift certificates are available for uh, the Skype lessons if you want, or the Ultimate Beginner's Guide DVD, which is a must if you know someone that's just starting out on guitar. It's a, a no-nonsense approach, no science book needed, you know, all that stuff. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning in on this lesson. Go check out the other Van Halen lessons, lessons and we'll talk to you later, man. See you. I need to use that chord technique I taught you guys about. Pick in the mouth first, pull the chord through, like this. Don't you love that noise? And then you fix the strap that you just messed up when you stuck the chord through it, and I'll probably pull the chord out again. See you guys.